Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy fit 2 gaming here coming at you with another video. Hope you guys are feeling fantastic. As always, man, I have a great video for all of you. Call, call, call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Wow, that was a hard word to say, but good gosh. Thank God I got it out. But if you are struggling to find gear and weapons or any kind of contract rewards in level 3 zombies, let's face it, it can be nearly impossible, especially going solo. But I'm going to show you guys a way you can do this going solo without firing a single bullet. That's right, a single bullet. And you can do this within maybe about five minutes if y'all can get this method down pat. Uh, and it will give you rewards um, every m match, not every couple minutes. It will be every match. But with all that said, let's just jump right into it. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Alrighty guys, so let's just jump right into what needs to be done to get this contract going. So first you're going to want to find any vehicle. Uh, it does not matter what vehicle you get. As long as you can get to the area I'm about to show you pretty fast. And a very simple way to do that is I'm going to show you on the map where to go. And uh, you just want to follow this main highway, honestly. It's the easiest way to get there. Uh, it's a straight shot almost. Uh, but I kind of did it fast. If you want to pause the video, uh, I did bring up my map there. Uh, I think I will bring it up here again and just pause that video. This is where you want to go. It's going to be the largest radio tower. I don't know if the largest, but it's one of the radio towers in uh, the game for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. You're going to want to go to the radio tower in the level 3 zone. And I forgot to mention you will need um, some decoys for this and you will need... Um, a self-revive because you don't want to go down doing this solo it's not going to be fun and you're going to be very upset if you lose all your stuff so make sure you're not bringing anything important that you could lose uh, I have not died doing this method yet so uh, knock on wood uh, have not died doing it so but just in case better be safe than sorry as they say so make sure you do not bring anything important into this match make sure you have those decoy grenades you're gonna throw one here like you see here at the radio tower not sure why they spawn here it's just how the game goes there's always some sort of zombies or dogs near this radio tower and you're not gonna want to go down the first step of this little method i'm showing you guys so throw that decoy grenade let's climb up this radio tower and once you get to the top uh, you're going to want to fly all the way down to the time trial contract mission. Um, so sometimes this spawns, sometimes it doesn't. I feel like it's a 70-30 split. 70% it does, 30% it doesn't. It actually might be a little less than that, but uh, it's spawned most of the times I've joined a match, so make sure you do have that one spawned. This is probably the only one I have done solo, and the only one I will do solo, because it's super simple and super easy to do uh, if you are running alone and you want to loot out um, the level 3 zone and zombies. So once you get to this spot, you're going to want to throw that last, or sorry, that second decoy. Make sure you do have three decoys. If you don't know how to do that, go to a uh, refill station and refill your ammo. Um, so this third decoy is going to be right near the gas station where the heavy armored truck is. There's going to be some zombies knocking on that garage door. Make sure you steer clear of that and throw that decoy Get them away from the area and open that garage door. Jump in that heavy army ve heavy armored vehicle. Sorry about that, guys. Jump into that real quick and then haul your butt over to the mission or the drop-off point. And if you don't know what to follow on the map, just follow what I'm following here. Uh, it's the same route every time I've noticed. So once you've got this down, you can really do this method very quick, very fast. Um, it's very easy to do, guys, once you get it down. But like I said, always bring that self-revive if you're not sure. And you just never know what can happen. So just in case, bring it. Um, and if also you have Juggernaut, 
that would be also a good a good perk to have as well um but yeah guys as simple as that sometimes this does spawn legendary items sometimes it does not it's a hit or miss but either way it does it does spawn items a lot better than level two and level three or level one and level two because you are in a level three zone uh but yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed the video see you guys in the next one